Now, this tutorial shows you how do you change two units in a single calculation. So let's say you have something like five inches per second. Okay, it's a speed because you have distance over time. And you want to change it to meters per hour. So how would you do that? Well, let's start off with what is given, inches. Now, the way I'm going to write this unit in here is a little bit different. The way we write a slash per, to represent the per inches per second is because we, when, we write the, when we use the slash, it saves space. But we're not going to say, save that space right here. We're going to write inches over second. And the reason why we do that is when we write this, if we put this right here, a common confusion is that you may treat both units in the numerator and we do not want that to happen. So what we would do here is to put inches over seconds so that you know inches is in the numerator and the seconds is in the denominator. Okay now, so what do we do next? Well what we can do is that we're going to change one unit at a time. It doesn't matter you change inches first or seconds first. They would work just the same. So since we have previously worked out the um, inches. So let's start with the seconds. So we want to change from seconds to hours. So what is the relationship between seconds and hours? Well you may not know what is exactly. But what we can do is that we can change to something else and then go to hour. So what is the, what is the unit between second and hour? Minutes. So we can first change to, uh, from seconds to minutes and then from minutes to an hour. So what we can do here is to list the relationship. What's the relationship between seconds and minutes? Well, for the seconds uh, and minutes, I know that, well, look at your clock. One minute is equal to 60 seconds. So I can put it right, put this relationship into this conversion factor. Seconds is right here. I want to cancel the second, put a second right here, and then I'm going to change to minute. And what about the numbers? Well, look, look back to the relationship. One minute is equal to 60 seconds. So one minute, 60 seconds. All right. So now we cancel the seconds, and then next step is to convert from minutes to an hour. So what's the relationship between hours and minutes? Look at your clock. Okay, this is supposed to be a second. All right. So one hour is equal to sixty sec. Oh no, hold on. I'm. I mean minutes. One hour is equal to sixteen minutes. Sixteen minutes. So put the minutes right here because you want to cancel that out and put the hours in the bottom. So what numbers to go into here? Sixty minutes. One hour. Okay. So now you have the hour in the denominator. What about the uh, inches? Well, you just do the same thing as what we did in the last exam, uh, previous example. So, inch two centimeters. One inch is equal to five point uh, two point five four centimeters, and then you change to meters. Okay, one meter is equal to a hundred centimeters. Now, you may ask, they are separated so far away. Can you still cancel them out? Well, sure, because in multiplication and division, they don't have any specific order, like addition and subtraction. So we can still cancel them out because they will divide together. So inches got canceled out, and centimeters got canceled out. So what you do next is to carry out the calculations. So five times sixty times sixty times 2.54 divide by 100 457.2 what's the unit well see what's left meter over hour or you can write 457.2 meters per hour okay so this is your answer now a uh, little footnote for this type of calculation when you are dealing with multiple conversion factor. Now in this case what we have is all ones. 
and the only thing in the denominator that we need to take care of is a hundred. But what happens if you have some other numbers in the denominator? Well, make sure that you put a parenthesis around the denominators, okay? Because if you do not do that, the calculator is, the calculator is not going to give you a correct answer because, again, there is no specific order for division and multiplication. So the calculator is going to do whatever you told the calculator to do. So you would have some division and then if you say uh, these two denominators multiply to each other and you don't put parentheses, the calculator is going to calculate the answer after dividing this number and then the answer for that calculation is going to multiply that number which is not some which is not something that you want so when you do this type of calculation make sure that if you have a bunch of numbers in the denominator put parentheses okay